Yo, what is up, YouTube men? Season 3 just dropped on NBA 2K22. You see all the low levels in the park, having to grind the level 40 again. And in this patch, they dropped a new spin shot. It is the Penny Hardaway Spin Jumper. I was looking at animations, and when I saw this, look at this. This dude does a spin, and then he steps back. This animation looks absolutely glitchy. I just had to try it out. I was curious to see if this thing could be effective. And as you saw in the clips, it was doing pretty decent. Now, I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion. I'm going to show you guys a few gameplays what this spin shot is able to do if you guys are new man if you want to drop a like and subscribe of course i would appreciate it a ton if you want me to make more videos about season three animations definitely let me know i'm testing them all out i do like a few of them and uh let's get right into it so first things first this guy hits me with a over those three pointer kobe release i mean it was a pretty good shot my defense was a little bit lackadaisical but you're gonna see in the rest of the game he's not really getting those shots anymore even though he thinks he's going to because he hit the first one right now i'm just trying to warm up this was my first gameplay with this spin jumper on gonna test it out i wanted to get my takeover up a little bit because i knew this shot was gonna be tough to time i wasn't ready for it it's a lot slower compared to the normal spin jumper i use because there's an actual step back animation in it this man is wearing himself out trying to get an open three-pointer, but as you can see the next play, I do the exact same thing. I got no stamina, so I just got to hit him with a little signature combo, go to the hoop, get the Michael Jordan animation to bail myself out. 7-3 to three now. Again, my defense going crazy on him. It's really his fault, I'm not going to lie. He wanted a three-pointer so bad, he would not go and take the dunk. That's something people do a lot on this one score. Right here, I'm going to go for my first spin shot of the game. After he stops fouling, you're going to see back-to-back -back fouls. But I'm going to create this space, do a little spin back side to the free throw line. This is the spin shot right here. It does not look like a normal spin shot. The dude literally does a spin and then he does a step back. I do hit it. I shoot a wide. Timing's not the greatest right here. Again, getting space, taking the shot. Bang. That is two in a row. We're going for three right here. It's working. I'm not greening, but it's going in. That is a good sign. He boxing me. I mean, not really. He just fouling me, but we got it back. That's three for him. Step it back. Kyrie Irving step back. Going for one more again. Bang. It looks like he even got a little bit of a contest, but it was not enough. No chance I can get four in a row. Momentum behind the back. I do it. He absolutely plays it. Gets a block. And that's what I'm going to say about this spin jumper. So this is a good move. It's going to catch a lot of defenders off guard. They are not going to be ready for it. I promise you that. But one problem is if you are playing a long game like a rec game, if you're playing somebody you've played before, if they know you like to do the spin jumper, at that point, they will be able to guard it. The animation is just a bit too slow. I feel like in real life, Penny Hardaway's spin jumper was a little bit faster than this. You see, I go to the three-point line, trying to get really crazy with it. Missed that shot right there. It happens. But you can use this to get behind the three-point line as well. But like I was saying, it's going to be predictable if you do it a few times in the game. As you see, I'm not really able to get it on this guy anymore. He's all over it. Get him out of here. For clips, though, if you're just trying to have fun, this is definitely a great spin jumper to use. Maybe if you're playing stage, you're playing comp pro am something at a super high level, this probably isn't the spin jumper you want to have on, to be honest. I'll be making a video about the best spin jumper in the game very soon. Cook this dude up a little bit right here. Another thing, I do like to get shot creating takeover. It boosts this at a ton, especially in a situation where I've never used this. This is my, oh my God, look at that, man. I pretty much crabbed him with the step back spin jumper. It is beautiful. You're going to see another three. One thing about NBA 2K22 is a lot of people use the exact same animation so when you play somebody like a five foot nine guard you know what they're going to be doing if you're playing a seven foot three center you usually know what they're going to be going for but if you're somebody that uses different animations than everybody else yeah they might not be the greatest in the game but you could be effective with them just because people are not predicting hit this guy with a couple moves you know a little momentum a little spin back dunk it right there i really want to get one more spin jumper this guy's reaching you're going to see though right here he plays it again once people know you're going to do it once they see how slow the actual animation is it's not really going to be as effective as it is early game when people have no idea what you're hitting them with i mean they've never seen this as far as i know this penny hardaway spin jumper is brand new i've never seen it in a 2k before and i've been a shot creator for many years so i definitely would have right here spin down to the paint let me know if you guys tried it out let me know if you guys like it let me know what spin jumper you guys use if i didn't say earlier in the video i will be making a video on the best spin jumper in the game and this is tonic i'll catch you guys in the next one, I'm out. Peace.